very good. Okay. So as we begin to breathe and move, do your best to stay in your pain-free range of motion. Come back to your breath anytime it starts to wander and drift, it might happen. Um, and if you need extra support, utilize a chair or utilize a wall space. And I'll give examples with both. So I want you to plant your feet underneath your hips. And if you can feel the little bony parts of your hips in the front of your body, you're gonna line up your heels underneath them. Okay, and then once you feel that, press your feet down and imagine that the top of your head was lengthening up to the ceiling. Very good. And then let your breath out, relax your shoulders, just take them up, go back and down and let them settle beside you. Good. And then take a full breath in. Good, and then as slow as you can, breathe it out. Very good. Again, inhale through your nose. And then let it go. Very good, breathe in. And then exhale completely, let your shoulders relax, allow your arms to relax. Very good. Now on your next inhale, I want you to press your feet down at the same time, give your arms a stretch up over your head. Imagine you were getting taller in your body. Very good. And then as you're exhaling, bring your arms back down. Perfect. Again, inhale, press your feet down, stretch your arms up. And then exhale completely, relax your arms, relax your legs. Good. Three more. Inhale, arms up. Hold it now for a moment. And then exhale the arms back down. Very good. Inhale, arms up, reach up. Hold. And then exhale the arms down. Perfect. Again, inhale, reach and stretch. And then exhale, float your palms together into the center of your chest. Relax your shoulders off your ears. Good. On your inhale, interlace your fingers. Take your palms towards your chest. On the exhale, stretch them out in front of you. Try to reach your arms out, even if the elbows don't straighten. Inhale to pull the arms back. And then on the exhale, reach them out. Good. Inhale. And then exhale. Inhale. Bend at your elbows, draw the arms back, and then exhale, stretch your palms out. Very good. Again, inhale. And then exhale. Okay, now as you inhale, keep your arms stretching, reach them as high as they'll go. And then exhale your arms down. Good, and now your shoulders. Inhale, lift the shoulders up to your ears. Go back, exhale, slide them down. Good, inhale up, back, exhale, down the body. Inhale, elevate, move them back, exhale, roll them down. Try two more like that. Lift, pull, relax. That's it, inhale up. Back on the exhale, float them down. And then try reversing it. So as you inhale, pull the arms back. Lift to your ears, roll forward and down. Good. Inhale, retract, pull back. Lift, go forward and down. That's it. So your practice move the opposite way. Pull back, give them a squeeze. Lift them and then drop them. Try two more like that. Back, up, and forward. Good. One more. 
up and forward. Okay, wonderful work. Then take your palms together again in the center of your chest. Now we'll expand your chest and then round it. When you're ready to inhale, pull your heart forward, stretch your arms back. How wide can you pull your arms back? Okay, good. Now on your exhale, can you round your back and then seal your palms, close your thumbs and push into your hands. Good. On the inhale, open. Let your body move forward, pull your arms back, so trying to expand your chest. And then on your exhale, draw the lower part of your belly in, cave out your back, and then push into your hands as tight as you can push it. Good. Try three more. Go forward on your breath in. Good. And then we'll move back on your breath out. Good. Forward on your breath in. Good, and then let's move back on your breath out. Round your back muscles, seal your palms, and then shoot them forward in front of you. That's it, one more time. Inhale to expand your chest, full smooth breath. Good, and then exhale to round up. Push into your palms, cave and round. Very nice. And then as you inhale, can you reach your arms up as high as they'll go? Good, and then on your exhale, lower one arm down and then one arm up and over. You're going into a side bend. Good, inhale, lift back to center, go tall. And then exhale, reach to the other side. Let your body reach and stretch out. Okay, let's try two more. Go up on your breath in. Move over on the breath out. Very nice. Go up on your breath in. And then over as you breathe out. Good. Inhale up. And then exhale down. Good. Again, inhale up. Full breath to come to center. And then exhale. Let your hips sway to the side. Let your arm reach and stretch. Okay. Now inhale, lift up. Big stretch. Now, as you exhale, you're going to fold in half. Can you bend your knees and tap either the chair in front of you, if you can only go halfway, or full way, tap the ground. And just feel how your back is feeling today. As you inhale, push against your legs with your arms and try to stretch your spine up. How long can you make it? And then as you exhale, bend at your knees and let your body move down. Very good. Now open your arms like airplane wings, shoulders in line with the arms. As you inhale, drive up from your feet. Give your arms an overhead stretch. Good. And then exhale again, move down. So bend at your knees. Let your back stretch out. Relax the weight of your neck and your head down. Inhale, lift halfway. Push against the legs. Lift your chest up. Good. And then on your exhalation, fold. Drop your neck and head. Good. Open your arms. Good. Make really strong fists as you inhale. Drive up from the floor. Lift. Try to reach up overhead. That's it. Good job. And then exhale. Bring it down. Soften your knees. Relax the back side of your body. Check out what's going on back there today. As you inhale, press against the floor with your feet. Press against the legs with your arms and lift. And then exhale. Let that go. Open your arms to your sides as you inhale, reach up. Good. And then exhale, relax your arms back down. Good. If your shoulders are feeling tense, you could roll them a little bit in between movements. Roll them back. Roll them forward. Okay, good. Okay, so now let's see how your hips are moving. So from here, put your hands on your waist. And we're going to play with tilting the pelvis and then moving side to side. So four directions, first two are front and back. When you're ready to inhale, tilt your tailbone towards the back of your head. So imagine that you're shortening the distance between your tailbone and the back head. And then as you exhale, squeeze your glutes, press your hips forward. Good. Again, inhale, can your pelvis move back? On the exhale, can your pelvis move forward? That's it. And you're just checking, checking out what it's feeling like today. Back and then front. 
back tilt, front press. Back tilt, front press. One more time. Breathe and feel, and then move forward. Okay, and then try your side to side. So now again, I'm just switch my position so you can see. Take, I'll mirror your motion, take your right hip back and to the right. So you wanna feel the outer edge of your hip and your glutes stretching. And then move to center, try back into the left. So back and then push that hip off to the left. Little bend in your knee. Inhale up, exhale back into the right. Inhale up, exhale back into the left. Good. Inhale up, exhale back into the right. Feel it out. Inhale up, exhale back into your left. Very good. One more on each. Come to center, sway to the side. Come to the center, sway to the side. Very good. Okay, now put all those movements together. Shift your body back. Go to one side, push the hips forward, go to the other. Back, side, forward, side. Back, side, forward, side. That's it. Back, side, forward, side. Back, side, forward, side. Now reverse it. Opposite side, forward, side, and back. Press forward, side, back. So you want to feel like the top of your leg bone is getting massaged into the hip socket. You want to find all the ranges of motion and make sure they're still doing their job. Good. Side, forward, side, back, and then press up and shake it out. Okay, so now hips are a little bit more primed. We're going to start to prime a little bit through your double leg balance before we go to our single leg work. So have, if you need support, your support close by to you. So you might have a hand on it, you might have a hand on a wall if you need to. When you're ready to inhale, good, I'll show you with one hand down. As you inhale, lift your heels up and lift one arm up. Good, and then as you exhale, lower your arm and lower your heels. Okay, very good. Again, inhale, lift your heels and lift an arm. Hold it at the top. And then exhale, lower heels and lower the arm. Very good. Inhale, arm and heels lift. Push into the balls of your feet. Squeeze above your knees and stretch. And then exhale, lower it down. So you got to get a sense of how you're able to balance. Now switch your, switch your arms. So I'm just going to move my chair a little bit over. So this will be my support. As I inhale, lift your heels, reach your arms up, push into your legs and stretch. And then exhale, bring it down. Very good. Try two more at your own speed. So the inhale lifts you up. Squeeze above your knees, get really strong through that lower half of your body, and then bring it back down. Wonderful. Inhale up. Hold. Exhale lower. Okay. And then again, you can shake off in between. If you're feeling stable today and you want to try both arms and both legs, I'll give you variation. As you're inhaling, start with just your feet. Squeeze above your knees and lift. On your exhale, take one hand to your heart. And then the hand that's resting on your prop, you can lift and lower. Good. If you feel stable, you can hover. If you feel even better, you can bring your hands to your chest or you can advance and reach up. That's, it's a lot of work. Three, keep breathing. Two, balance on your feet. And then one, lower heels, lower arms. If you need support, hold it and march it out. Very good. So you're getting a sense of how you're able to balance. As we move through our balance flow, take breaks anytime. Remember to keep your breath as your focal point. Very good. Okay, so now let's start to prime up the legs. So step to the back side of your mat. If you're not using a mat, just step a little bit so you have room to step out in front. And I want you to take your right leg and step it forward. I'm going to mirror your motion. Okay, so your right leg goes out. 
good. Let me flip myself around. That's it. Perfect. Okay. So once you step forward, you're going to notice if you can balance. So this is what the legs kind of step out like. If you feel wobbly, you're going to open this leg out to the side a little bit. Okay. So now you have a stronger base of support. If you need your chair, it can be beside you on either side of your body. Okay. So one hand can be down. When you're ready to inhale, bend your front knee pull your arms back, lift your chest. Okay, now on the exhale, straighten your leg, relax your arms. Okay, the first few are going to be dynamic. Inhale, bend your front knee, keep your back leg pressing down and expand your chest to its maximum. And then when you're ready to breathe out, let it go. Good. See if you can hold your breath for a few seconds. So the inhale opens you up, bend, press into your feet, and now hold, and then exhale, relax it. Okay, two like that. Inhale, bend into your front leg, open and guide your arms back. And then on your exhale, relax your arms, let it go. Very good, again, inhale. <laughs> Hold it, and then exhale, let it go. Okay, now you can step forward or back and bring your feet together and march it off. Very good. Okay, same thing you did on the right, you're going to do with your left foot stepping out. So take a step forward with your left leg. Once it lands, you're going to have a feel and see. If you have your front leg in front, you can move it to the side to help widen your base of support. If you bend your knee, make sure that back leg can stay down so you can shorten or lengthen your stance accordingly. And then once you feel like you have some stability here, we're going to move forward and back five repetitions. So on your inhale, press your feet down, bend your front knee and widen out your arms. You imagine you're pulling your arms back. Good. And then on your exhale, relax. Let it go. Very good. Inhale to bend. Open and arc your back. Good. Exhale to relax and let that go. Very good. Three more. Add a little hold after you breathe in. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Let it go. Very good. Inhale, bend. Hold your breath in. Keep that back leg pressing into the floor. Exhale. Let it go. Very good. One more time. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Let it go. You can step forward or back, depending where you feel more comfortable, and stomp it off. Very good. Okay. Legs are going to get a little bit more tired now. Okay. So again, chair can be supporting in front or behind. Okay. Wherever you need it. If you feel like you need to be able to grab something or to have it back, keep your feet now a little bit wider. Go to shoulder width apart. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now as you inhale, sit back like you have a chair behind you and sweep your arms either A, in front of your body, or B, up to the ceiling. On the exhale, rise up. Good. I want you to imagine that before you go down, you're going to rip apart the floor with your feet. So rip, so the bum and the lower belly turn on as you inhale. Sit, reach through your fingers. They can be up or they can be low. Exhale, Press the hips forward. Very good. Inhale, down. Arms in front or up beside your ears. Exhale, up. That's it. Inhale. Down, push against the floor. Squeeze your bum on the way up. Yes, good job. Inhale. Down, exhale, up. That's it. Five more. In, exhale, up. Four. Down, up, that's it. Three, down, 
up. You can keep your arms in front. You can keep your arms to your ears. Depends on how your shoulders are feeling. Good. Two. One more. Down and up. That's it. Take a breather up at the top. Very nice. Let your heart rate calm down. Couple long breaths out. And just feel the energy and the heat starting to build in your body. As we move towards round two, there's going to be an option to lift a leg. So please be safe. You can have a hand on a chair at any time you need it. You can even have a chair behind you. So on your inhale, we'll go back. So rip apart the floor, make sure the glutes turn on, the lower belly feels like it has some engagement. On the inhale, sit back, reach up. Good, now on the exhale, drive up. Lift your left heel. Inhale, lower down. Good, exhale, lift your right heel. So you're coming onto the ball of the back foot. Inhale, down, exhale, lift, left heel. Inhale, down, exhale, lift, right heel. That's it. So we're starting slowly to change the balance. Inhale, down, squat. Arms in front or up near your ears. Exhale, lift, one heel up. Good. Inhale, down. Exhale, push, lift the other heel. If you start to feel balanced, we're going to lift that leg. Inhale, down. Now exhale, push. See if you can lift your right knee or your left, whichever side you're working on. Inhale, down. Exhale, can you push and maybe either balance on the ball or lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. So if you had a chair, you can tap it and lift. Inhale, down. On the exhale, tap and lift. Focus on one spot that's not moving with your eyes. Go down on the inhale, lift. Down. Opposite leg. Good. Inhale. Exhale, switch. Inhale, down. Exhale, switch. That's it. So you know that you can be supported, but you want to feel that transfer of weight. Sink, push, and then see. Can I lift a knee up? Go down. Inhale. Exhale, weight to the other leg. Can I lift my knee up? One more on each side. Inhale, down. Exhale, focus with your eyes. Use your hand if you need to. Pop up a leg. Inhale, down and stretch. Exhale, support or unsupported lift. Inhale, down, big reach. Now exhale, just all the way up. Relax it. Take a moment, roll your shoulders. Take a little breather and come in to check on you. Instead of recording. Ah, perfect. Okay. So after the few sets of your squat and lift, we're gonna hold our warrior position. So if you're using a chair, I want you to flip it so that the seat is closer towards you, okay? It's gonna sit there for a moment and then come a little bit away from your chair if you're staying away from it. Take a step forward with your right foot again. Keep your back heel down. Okay, so we were already in this one. If you're here and you feel wobbly, this leg is going to go wider. You can go as wide as you need to, to feel solid on the ground. Okay, that's all. And then relax your arms. So now the leg is going to stay in position. So as you inhale, can you bend your front knee? Good. On the exhale, can you stretch your arms out in front of you? Okay, now inhale, keep the bend in your knee, pull your arms back, give them a squeeze and hold, and then exhale your arms in front of you. Very good. Inhale your arms up, and then exhale your arms back down. That's it, all with the front knee staying in the bend. Inhale, push your feet into the floor, open up your arms and breathe. Hold it, exhale forward, that's it. Inhale, arms up, exhale, arms down. That's it, you're doing fantastic. Inhale, open, squeeze and hold, 
exhale forward, let it go. Inhale, arms up and hold. Exhale, arms down and relax. That's it. Two more. Inhale, open. Front leg might be on fire. Exhale, close. Inhale, arms up. Hold it. Exhale, arms back down. That's it. Last one. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Forward. Now inhale, arms up. Hold it in. Exhale, fold, fold, fold. Bring your hands to the seat. Very good. Okay. If you're not using a chair, um, you will just bring your hands beside you. If you're on the chair, shift your weight forward now. Play with lifting your back leg. Okay, so you're rocking in, lifting. So you're pushing down, not back on the chair, so it tilts. You wanna keep your uh, chair secured on the floor. If you feel a little bit more comfortable, lean the weight forward as you inhale, kick your back leg up. On your exhale, tap it to the ground. Good. If I was standing without a chair, I'd look like this. Inhale to kick, exhale down. Okay, so either one. I'll stick with our chair variation today. Inhale, press, feel your body weight on your bottom leg and kick your back leg, push it. And then exhale, lower it. Good, two more. Inhale, kick. Exhale, lower. Very good. Okay, now if you feel balance as you inhale, kick. Hold as you exhale. That's it, keep pushing out, aim your hip towards the ground. If you're more comfortable, you can climb higher. If you're even more comfortable, you can swing one arm back, maybe the other arm back. Eyes are focused, keep your breath moving. Five seconds, four, three, two, step your foot in, relax it, okay? Inhale, arms up. And then exhale, fold in half, whether you're going halfway or full down, relax your neck and your head. It's a lot of work on one leg, okay? Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, lower your chest. Very good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. That's it. One more time. And then down. Okay, very good. And then let your body come up to center. We'll do the same thing with our left leg. This will be the hardest of the series, okay? So once you get through this, you got through the majority of it. Take your leg back, give it a step, rise up. So now your left leg is forward from the front position you'll see here. If you feel wobbly, this leg walks out to the side. Make sure your legs feel solid. They're holding you up here. Okay, chair can be used as your support. It can be beside you on either side. You can have it in front in preparation. Just depends on your balance level. Okay, now back to your breathing, smooth and deep. Hold after inhale. Start by exhaling completely, relax your arms. When you're ready to inhale, bend your front knee. Bring your arms out to your side. Hold the breath a moment. And now exhale the arms forward. Very good. Inhale your arms up. Hold your breath. Exhale the arms forward. Very good. Four more. Inhale, pull back. Hold. Exhale forward. Relax. Inhale, arms up. Hold. Exhale, arms down. Feel your feet. Root them into the floor. You got this. Three more. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. In front of you. It's asking the legs to do a lot of work. Inhale, lift. Hold. Exhale, arms down. You got this. You're past the halfway mark. Inhale, pull. Hold. Exhale, forward. 
and release. Good. Inhale, arms up. Hold. Exhale, arms down. Release. That's it. Last one. You got this. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Arms out in front. You got it. One more breath. Inhale up. Hold. Exhale, fold. Tap the hands to the seat. Take a partial step closer. Make it a little bit easier for you to breathe and pause. Okay, so if you're in a rest pose, you might be here, you might be here. Now we'll start kicking off. So your single leg balance, make sure you have your hands supported. Either on the seat, you can use a wall if you need to. When you're ready to inhale, shift the weight up. An option to kick your leg and then bring it back. Okay, so the first couple repetitions, you're just feeling where it's going on. What's like when you transfer the weight to your left? As you inhale, can you kick and push your leg back? And then exhale, relax it. Okay, try three more before we hold it. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Work on pushing energy through your heel. So imagine you were going to kick that wall behind you. Give the leg a squeeze and then bring it back. Okay, very good. Now, if you feel like you can hold it, the last one, we're gonna stay there. So gather your strength. Focus one spot that's not moving with your eyes. So you're here or you're here. As you inhale, kick your right leg up. Hold it as you breathe out. So you wanna keep pushing and breathing. Hands can be low, you can also be on your fingers. You can also be holding the back. If you're not holding a chair, you might look like this. That's it. Hold and breathe. Push energy out. Hold. Five. Good. Kick your leg. Four. Three. Two. And then this leg glides forward. Land it down as you inhale. Give a big lift with your arms. And now fold yourself in half. Let your body relax. So again, hands can be on the seat, your head can relax there, or you can have your hands floating and your head down, or you can rest the head to the seat. Just take a couple of breaths in this forward bend position. Perfect. Allow your heart rate to relax. Let the back of your legs lengthen out. Two more breaths. One more breath. Very good. And then inhale, lift halfway so hands can press against your legs, stretch yourself out. Good. Exhale the hands to your waist. Elbows face up, and on the inhale, lift all the way to center. Press your hips a bit forward. Very good. Awesome work. Let's do a check-in. Pause. Okay. All right. So good job with your standing balance. You can move your chair out of your way for now. Good. And then you're going to come down to the ground on your hands and on your knees. Good. And then if you can, you can allow your knees to open, but see if you can stretch your hips towards your heels. And the hands can come underneath you. They can support your neck and head, maybe your fists or your prop, or it can drop all the way to the floor. If you have the range of motion that your head can relax down, you can keep it relaxed. Okay, and take three breaths in and out. In through your nose, Exhale through your nose or your mouth here. Just give your body a sense of relaxation. Again, breathe in. Breathe out. Good, one more time. And out. Okay, that's wonderful. Now from here, I want you to inhale and bring your body forward. So it's going to come down to your belly. Yep. 
and your arms are going to come out to your sides, forehead or chin down. Okay, good. And now when you're ready to breathe in, I want you to lift your arms, your legs, your neck and your head off the floor as strong as you can pull up. And then exhale, let it go. Good, again, inhale, lift, arms, legs, neck and head. And then exhale, let it go. Good. Again, inhale. Arms, legs, neck and head. And then exhale, let it go. Okay, very nice. Now the next time you go up, see if you can hold it there. As you inhale, lift arms, legs, neck and head, breathe. Perfect. In and out. Pull your arms back, point your toes, big stretch. Five, four, Keep breathing, three, two, sneak your hands beside you as you inhale, push yourself up. And then exhale, just see if your body will let you round back. Very good, inhale, give a little lift, and then exhale, around it back. We're just trying to release any tension that was built up in the lower back from that arcing pose on the belly. Inhale, exhale. In, out. Mm, very nice work. And then slowly sneak your legs out in front. Very good. That's it. So now you'll be completely sitting on the floor. All right. Good job. Okay. So now from this position, I want you to take your palms and drag them behind you. So they're going to be supporting just behind your hips an inch or two. Plant your feet into the ground. Okay, so your legs are going to work a little strong. When you're ready to inhale, can you push into your palms? Can you push into your feet and experiment with lifting your hips up? And then on your exhale, bring it back down. Okay, so you're playing with lifting your body. On your inhale, push into your feet. Squeeze and lift. And then exhale, bring it down and release. Good. Inhale to rise and press. Exhale to lower and release. Very good. Move your wrists a little bit. Take some of the tension out of your wrists. Good, good job. Stretch your legs out in front, even if your knees are bent, so you wanna get your back up. So you might have to pull your knees towards you and lift your chest, or you feel if your hamstrings are good, you might be stretching them out. Good, okay, so either way, I'll play with that bent knee for those with tighter back legs. As you inhale, try your arms going up. On the exhale, try and reach for your toes. So it doesn't matter whether you get there, you're just gonna reach in that direction. Good, go up on your breath in. Good, reach forward on your breath out. Good, again, up on your breath in. Forward on your breath out. Good, so your knees can be as bent as you need them to be to capture your feet. Last one, go up. Lean in and see if you can grab the outer edges of your feet. So if you've noticed, I've bent my knees a bit more to grab. You can keep it like that. If your hamstrings are more flexible, you can kick them out. But you want to make sure your back can stay long. So inhale, lift your chest. Now exhale, pull on your feet. Try to close the gap between your belly and your thighs. And then just breathe there. Let the back of your body stretch. Your choice whether you want to drop your head or keep looking forward. It really depends on what you feel through your body. If you become more comfortable, you can play with extending your heels out a bit more. 
Good, hold for three, for two, and then one. Roll up, perfect, perfect, good. And then come to lying down on your back. I'm gonna change the view so you guys can see a little closer. I'm gonna bring you with me. There we go. That's gonna be a little bit of a closer view for those on a smaller phone. Yeah, that's good. And then once you're on your back, you're gonna let your arms come up to the side. You're gonna keep your feet down, your knees up. And very easy for your lower back. As you exhale, let your knees fall towards the right. Let your neck and head turn to the left. Let yourself twist. Okay. And then inhale to center. On the exhale, let your knees fall towards the left. Let your neck and head turn to the right. Good. Again, inhale towards your center. Good. Exhale, turn, knees to the right, neck and head to your left. So you're letting it be easy now through your body. Good. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Okay, very good. And then inhale back to your center. Good. Now, as you exhale, let your knees fall to the right. This time, kick your left foot to your right finger. See if you can kick and stretch the back of your leg. And then bring it into a bend, land it on your mat, lift your knees back up. Good. Try the same thing to the other side. So let them drop to the left. Start to kick your right foot towards your fingers. Whether it gets there or not, doesn't matter. Just go for the stretch on the outer edge of your hip and then come back and relax. Try two more. Tilt to the right, kick your leg. That's it. Try to reach your foot to your fingers, add that twist to the body. Very good. Inhale to come back. And then exhale to twist to the left. So let your knees fall, take that top leg, kick it towards your left fingers. And then come back. Okay, on the last one, you'll have an opportunity to hold. So on the exhale, let your knees fall to the right. Now you can stay here. You can stack your left knee on top and hold, or you can kick your leg out and hold. But we're gonna stay here for three breaths. So any of the variations with knees bent, knees resting or leg extended, and then just breathe here. Let your left arm relax, let your neck and head try to rotate to the opposite shoulder. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose. Start to let your body slow down. Good, and we'll switch. Bend your knee, bring the foot back to the ground. Take your time transitioning up. Take a breath in. As you exhale, let your knees fall to your left. Now again, that right knee can stack and you can rest or you can extend it and relax your back arm. Head can stay neutral or head can tilt to the right. And then just deep breathing. How slow and steady can you breathe here? Are you able to relax the right arm and really relax your neck and your head? Good. And then release the leg, inhale back to your center. 
hold it in center, exhale here. As you inhale, push some weight into your feet. See if you can lift your hips up off the floor. So you're trying to squeeze your back body and lift. On your exhale, lower it down. Very good. Again, inhale, squeeze and lift. Exhale, lower it down. Good. One more time. Inhale, squeeze. And then exhale, lower. And as you come down, this time bring your knees towards your belly. Let it stretch out your lower back. As you inhale, let your knees slightly move away. On the exhale, bring them closer towards you. Good. Inhale a little bit away. Exhale them towards you. One more. And then bring your knees in. You can hold them there. You can pull them towards you. Good. And then take your legs into position that you can rest. Okay, so that might be letting your legs land and your knees come together. It might feel good to stretch your legs out and give them a break. So you're going to find what feels good for you. You also can stack your legs up. Imagine you had a couch cushion or your chair. You can allow the legs to rest in an up position. And this also is helpful for people that feel a little bit of lower back discomfort when they lay flat. So you can position something under your knees even if it's just letting yourself rest on a couch. So whatever works, whatever you have available, just let your back become comfortable and then allow your arms to relax. Perfect. Okay. And then once you're here, take a long breath out and just let your body weight drop down. Inhale as slow as you can through your nose, let your body fill with air. Pause, and then as slow as you can, breathe out, and let your body weight drop down. Eyes closed, head and neck relaxed. You can even support your neck and head with a blanket or a towel if you have one, or a pillow. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose or your mouth. Whatever you need to, to let your body weight drop down. Inhale, let your lungs and your chest fill, hold it, and then exhale, let everything drop. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in, smooth and deep. Exhale, slow and steady. Feel the lower part of your belly move to your spine. Now keep breathing like that at your own speed. Slow down your breath in. Slow down your breath out. And start to allow your legs and your arms, your neck and your head to relax here. Relax the space around your eyes, the space around your jaw. And start to allow your body to sink towards the ground.
And then slowly inhale, give your arms a stretch up over your head. Good, and then as you exhale, hug your knees towards your chest. Just rock a little side to side. Good. And then rock just gently over towards one side and use your arm as a pillow for a moment so that you're resting on the ground. And then slowly start to press yourselves up towards a seated position. And however that feels comfortable for you, okay, without whatever is easiest. Good job. Good. And then inhale your palms together into the center of your chest. And as you exhale, bow to your own effort. Thank yourselves for showing up and for putting the energy and attention into your practice. Good job.